Hi everyone. You think thousands of thoughts each day. You talk to yourself more than anyone else. You are your most trusted advisor and confidant. Many of the conversations that you have with yourself you would never share with anyone else because to do so would expose the real you. The you that is filled with self-doubt, worries, sadness, guilt, hurts and disappointments. But this is not the real you at all. This is the you that your ego and belief systems have constructed. These negative beliefs have been constructed by you, and accepted by you as truth. The sad thing is that nothing can be further from the truth. Where did these false ideas about you originate? They mostly came from others, parents, teachers, co-workers, and friends. They might have planted the seed by saying something like she is fat and you have cultivated those comments to the point that they have become your truth. You are allowing your entire life to be controlled by some obscure comments made years ago. Nobody has the right or power to dictate who you are. Only you know who you truly are and what's in your heart. When you were born you entered this world without the burdens of your current negative belief system. You entered this world as a beautiful bundle of joy filled with unlimited potential and possibilities. I'm here to tell you that you have not changed. You are still and will always be a beautiful bundle of joy with unlimited potential and possibilities. The only difference is what you give your attention to. Let me ask you a question. If you stop all the negative talk that you currently have with yourself such as I'm too fat. Why would anyone want to love me? I will never be thin. I always fail. And the list can go on and on. How would you feel? Do you think that you would feel emotionally lighter? Do you think that you would feel happier? Do you think that you would feel more confident? Now how do you think your life would change if you were to go one step further and modify your self-talk by only speaking positively about yourself? If you take some time and focus on what you like about yourself and focus on only that your emotional state will become positive to the point that you will be able to accomplish anything. Once you begin looking for the positive things within you, you will be surprised to realize your magnificence has always been there just below the surface. You have never been anything other than the shining bundle of joy that entered the world years ago. It's easy to uncover positive aspects of yourself by asking some questions. What am I good at? Who has benefited by me being in the world? Who am I? What is in my heart that only I know? What do I like about my body? Your goal is to feel good now. How do you feel now? If you only observe what you feel is positive about you, you will feel good, you will be happy. Decide right here and right now how you want to feel. Decide that you will always look for the good within you and appreciate that goodness. So what does all of this have to do with losing weight? Everything? Your emotional state is the control valve that determines what you draw into your experience. How you talk to yourself creates your beliefs and programs your subconscious. So you need to ask yourself do you want your beliefs and subconscious programming to be based on false negative thinking? Or do you want your beliefs to be based on the truth, that you are and always have been a perfect being? Begin today to love and nurture yourself. Allow the joy, playfulness and enthusiasm that you naturally had as a child begin to flow into your everyday experiences. Allow yourself to celebrate each and every success no matter how small. Love and appreciate yourself every opportunity you have. Do this every day and watch your weight begin to dissolve just as your old negative beliefs about yourself begin to dissolve. If you want to learn more about metabolism click here below video.